are now in Augusta, which is between Catania and Siracusa. So we've got this amazing view, and that bridge there, it's called Corso Sicilia. So I'm guessing Sicily course. And we're gonna try and go up there, but if you guys see this house here, it's literally above the sea. I'm not sure to what extent that is legal, but I'm pretty sure it will go up. Yeah, the water rises. Like and as always, Sicily being dirty, not taking care of the beautiful pieces. Yeah, there's a lot of littering in Sicily, you But I do love that bridge, it's so cool. And let's keep going with the day. And it's very salty here, like... It smells. Yeah, it smells, but the salt kind of like, I can taste it in my mouth. We have walked from the gas station until this spot where we can see the Porta de España. I think that's what, how it is, which in English basically means Spain's door. Then we've got a slight monument there, slightly antique-ish. And then up there we got a castle called Castillo Svevo. I'm not sure if Castello. my Castello. <laughs> Castello, yeah. I'm not sure if my Italian accent is it's appropriate, but we've got beautiful <laughs> views of the wall stopping all the enemies in the war <laughs> then we've got the venice underneath the tunnels and then just over there on the far end we've got the commercial port for all the commercial boats loading and unloading but yeah we're gonna try and see more of that castello up there let's go too fast to prepare for this Tripping in the world could be dangerous Everybody circling this vulture beast Negative, nepotism. We just passed the Porta de España And then we've got little prison cells I'm not sure what it is But then we've got another Rubbish one center. And as always, dirty as usual I'm guessing these are not prison cells It's probably more like to for the guards Checking who comes in no. and out from the from the community, the small island. So far, very prominent. We're gonna go up here and see what we can see. Waiting for the fall of May. Everybody praying for the end of times. Everybody hoping they could be the one. I was born to run. I was born for this. Here we can see a helicopter. Obviously, this is not the same age as the castle which is here is blocked i don't think it's doing any tours right now but we did see the yeah and it doesn't look see. very stable structure wise yeah you can visit it but not right now and they are renewing it by adding right now the greenery tiles they've got scaffold buildings but we definitely sure that this is not from the same time same period however it's quite cool having a crashed helicopter i think there's something here like um, maybe military because if you see this i don't know yeah they probably got a base here there's a yeah, the there's a sort of windmill just here and yes, as Carolina said, there are police cars here. So it might be police. Or it's not a windmill, I think it's just a, like a... Winds, but I don't know how to call that, apart from a windmill. <laughs> this is renewable energy back in the days. I think there's some more things now. Flags. This is quite impressive. We've got a memorial for the First World War. Um, yeah, the First World War from 1915 to 1918. And those are all the names, which I'm sure you won't be able to appreciate, but I'm not gonna read them loud. So if you wanna check them, just search in Google. We've got a statue there. And you've got the, the Marine big massive cannon and this is closed off as well it's 
closed off and the fountains which are just and the, and the fountains which are just on the back over there are not working so it seems like our goose style is being refurbished or there's not much care taken into but we've got an abandoned building there and then a massive piazza square not sure it looks like it has parking spots here but who knows what it is and it's cool because we thought that the town was like down there but now we've come here The small like, buildings when we were go? walking up it just seemed like it was just going to be the castle and slightly more but not like another small town so we're going to keep exploring now arrived to what seems to be a church it's a big bell it looks very old and not in use but it might be in use and then that looks like a church yeah, we're going to keep walking straight and this, this small town, however you want to call it, it's basically straight streets with just, yeah, it looks like squares. So it's quite symmetrical. It doesn't seem to be very full of tourists, to be honest. No. Like, I feel that we are the only tourists here. Yeah, we um, haven't seen anyone. Yeah, it looks quite um, just locals and stuff. But of course, we don't know. That for sure. And then over here we've got the sea, obviously. So we're gonna have a quick peek over here. We have just arrived. That's the first bridge that you could see here. And now to what seems to be a port with private boats. Maybe one yacht over there and maybe two. fountain it is true that in england you're never going to see one of this and it is going to work Whoa. this could be portable we're not going to drink or maybe just to give dogs water just clean yourself but yeah in italy you see a lot of this we are in this restaurant here next to the main road there's a lot of flies I'm sure I mean, if there you can was see them. not that many restaurants open, so yeah. we just took this one. The first um, one, because yeah. we got a busy day. Yeah. It's something very curious in Italy. They use these paper bags where they insert the cutlery, which I find very curious, because it's already been twice that we've seen this. And they really don't use paper, like, tissues. It's always, yeah. like... Kind of like texture. synthetic. Yeah. yeah. But this is very common in bars. With this restaurant, we have to go and inside. say what we want inside, and then he'll bring it to the table. Break me down and build me up. I want to be the slip, slip, word upon your lip, lip, red. I've just ordered all the food, as you've seen in the previous clip. It seems to be that many places have all the dishes exposed, and then you just choose what you want. I think they call it and then once you choose what you want it could be mixed and you'll be see, you'll see what we got they basically get the dishes put them in the microwave and then bring them to the table we also got pieces of bread and then still water and so far we've been in two restaurants we didn't film the other one but uh, yesterday we went to another restaurant that was the same system so it seems to be quite popular but let's see how the food is we got an Italian meat lasagna, however there's a filled mushroom there and then we've got breaded chicken, this is potato, I'm not sure what that is and then that's just potatoes as, as always and one piece of lettuce, <laughs> let's see how it is what were your thoughts? What were your thoughts of the main dish? Um, I like the lasagna. It was quite nice and quite um, juicy, smooth. Yeah. Not and dried. Then the chicken was just too thin, and then the bread. Crumbs. Yeah. So if you see, there's so many bread crumbs, and the thickness of the chicken. That's how thick the chicken was. So it didn't leave 
much room for the yeah, chicken, but it was not very well balanced. The crumbs, the but, ratio of crumbs to but chicken. The potatoes were good, but that one just looked a bit too much, um, too burnt. So yeah, but I liked it overall. And now so, yeah. for dessert, we've got a small tiramisu and a can cream cannoli with nuts and sugar glazed. Let's see how it is. Such a cute tiramisu. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her, so cocky there. So I'm cold and my neck hurts. <laughs> Anyways, we are in um, Mount Etna. Um, Mount Etna is actually, well, we can't see it. Well, you'll see it later. Top. You'll see it later. Um, yeah, we're not at the top yet. This is like a viewpoint kind of thing. And we have like all this soil around, but I think it's just volcanic. It's just volcanic. Remains. Um, from the Mount Etna erupting. Yeah, it looks so. I don't yeah, know. it looks very like soil farming. Yeah. If you see, we've got all the all the cities there. I'm, I don't know the names, so I can't name them. <laughs> and then we've got beach there, and that very pale line is sand. Looks beautiful, to be honest. Yeah, that could be Catania, nice. actually, over there. Yeah, I think that over there is Catania. Because I recognize the port, but um, yeah, this is the first stop in the in our adventure to Mount Etna, and we'll keep going. Yeah. Hello. So we just got to Mount Etna. It is literally like a French ski resort. Like if you've ever gone to a French ski resort, it looks exactly like this. <laughs> Obviously, there's no snow right now, but. I mean, I did see quite a few people wearing like ski trousers, so I don't know if they're just... I mean, I do see some bits of snow, but I doubt there is a place that has full-on snow, but I don't know. And you can see the lifts are going up and down. You can see over there. Yeah, the cables, the car cables, yeah. just running through here up there. But unfortunately, we might not have time to to take one of them as we are running short in time. Yeah. But we're gonna keep exploring this and hopefully get a souvenir. Yep. I'm definitely getting a souvenir. And we will show you what we get. Yeah, from here, I think. We have come up from the car park, which is located down there. That's where everyone arrives. We have literally just walked this short but steep hill and we are super tired <laughs> our heart is pumping Out as you can breath. see it's so lava and then you've got the top the top 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 of the mount etna just right there and now what we are going to try and do if our body allows us is to get to that volcanic um Crate. That's literally the mouth of the volcano right there. Well, one and of the many volcanoes. Well, and we didn't know you could go up, and then we saw the little people there. So and we're gonna try. See, all that, all those cities are under our feet, and then you've got a bit of smoke, probably something burning, if not the volcano erupting, <laughs> just over there. Let's not forget that this volcano was erupting about is it one, one or two month months ago, ago? Ish. and then yeah. you've got this old cable here or it might be for when you snow you s sit there yeah they might change the, the cables hill. yeah exactly yeah so instead of those ones the little lift ones and you can see this bus coming down now look it's at that pretty much like a tank slash it kind of bus. looks like the that movie mars that they had like something similar like the massive wheels i just mentioned so look at that massive wheels i just mentioned today we're not in the beach we don't have sand but we do have volcanic ash volcanic which is small very small stones does it, smell nice? it doesn't smell of anything but oh no that's what we got today Dirty hands, uh, yeah, now we're just gonna go to that crate and see what we might find magma inside. Who knows? <laughs> just keep watching. Now, coming to this shop, we has the Mount Etna miniature, quite cool. Oh. 
we are gonna go now to Crateri Silvestri, which is the Silvestri Crater. <laughs> Silvestri Crater. 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 We've got a bit of Sicily there on the right. And now this slightly steep hill, which is slightly more tough than what it looks because of the small stones. Drum set. That's Carolina. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Tour de France. And we are gonna see the crate. There we go. Spectacular. Wow. People are actually going down. My god, they wanna get melted by the magma that family there this is crazy Oi. that's not mount etna mount etna is just behind this slope there it's incredible views we're gonna go to that point and then show more i've made it this is the amazing views so cool. that you get from here it's just so cool. This is the amazing view that you get from here. Stop. It's just so cool. Like all the different. Well, I hope that you watch and enjoy as much as we do because it looks incredible. You can see every single point. You can even see, I think, where we were before Augusta is this here. Then Syracuse is just let's see focus. Well, good job. And then Syracuse, I'm trying to find my finger. It's over there. We also appreciate you should turn around. Turn around. Appreciate the grass. The greenery. That mountain and then you got very it looks so soft, like smooth. Touch it, baby's bum. <laughs> and then you've got that side, which is just wow, it's crazy. Textures, textures. It, it definitely looks like a ski slope vibe. So, when it's full of snow, you've got all the bumps and, and hills. hills. So, Carl's advice is be careful when you can't snow in. No, we are now in Taormina, it's quite chilly. We can't see much so far. But that's basically what you can see. All the houses are mainly like there, so they are on in a slope. And it makes it quite beautiful. It's very cool, to be honest. So we're going to continue and see, see a bit deeper in Taormina. Yeah, so we're going to go all the way in. We have never walked in a tunnel before. We are walking in a tunnel now. So cool, it's very loud though. So the reason why we walked through that tunnel over there was to get to Porta Catania. And we've got this cute little thing over here. Bush. Oh, baby. Uh, yeah, so we're going to Porta Catania. Perfect. I don't really know what it is, but I know it's a touristic point. So we definitely have to go there. Um, we've been in Porta España. Porta yeah. Catania. Now we're going to Porta Catania. Um, yeah, if we can get there. Wow, beautiful sunset, beautiful city next to the beach with a C shape. There's Mount Etna. Mount Etna, all that is snow, all that. Beautiful. And just remember that we were up there and just five hours ago crazy this is very interesting but there's no pavement for that pizza place restaurant yeah just risk it if the pizza is good it will definitely risk it this is what how taormina receives you with this very well kept greenery and this statue Whatever this is. Very on like hills and look at that like mountains and 
It looks like a parcel. Oh. It looks like a parcel and beautiful mountain again with houses. So now we have to figure out where to go. Oh, well, nice. we got a club here. Look at that! Oh my god! Well, it's like Harry Potter there. Quite beautiful, quite beautiful Taormina. So far, the best. It smells of food, it smells very nice. And as you may expect, or maybe not, is that Porta Catania? Yeah. Very lively. This is Porta Catania, apparently. And as you see, it's a wall of stone, antique. Oh wow, look to the right. Very well kept. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, so far, best city. I said before, it's the most beautiful place. Very Italian. It gives me a very Italian vibe. We've got this, what looks to be like a church. I might be wrong. And then a wooden sculpture, which you have a guess at what it is. And it's all very green, lots of stone. You may be able to appreciate there's a castle tower just there. And it's just beautiful. On the right we've got, that is definitely a church. More greenery. I think this is like the most touristic place we've gone so far. We just passed by a A guide. A massive guided group tour. Of, yeah, guided tour, and they like usually we see some that are like Italians, but these are all like English speaking people. So it does seem like the place to come if you want to be in a touristic place. So yeah, Dormina. So, so definitely Dormina. come to Dormina yeah. if you come to so cool. Sicily. Right yeah, there's a cross mm -hmm. just. Uh, there. Now let's go and let's go and join the guided tour. Sneak in so we can get some information. <laughs> we kept walking down and we find this beautiful public realm. It looks to be a fountain. However, there are four individual fountains. So one, two, three, four with water coming from their mouth. And it seems to be babies holding the fountain and then you have what seems to be a mermaid on top with a crown mm. and this statue is in front of a very old let's call it castle slash church as mentioned the water is meant to come from the mouth and drop here. Mm, Very beautiful. So far we've walked straight up. Why are you recording with this? Darmina has lots of tiny streets to merge into the main street. It's full 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 and then we've got another big door at the end of this street it is definitely the most beautiful city so far in sicily this is what we were looking for it seems very romantic somewhere to go for a special occasion now we've in timisimi right now we were gonna walk under this tower so nice greenery to the left very exotic high standard quite luxurious restaurant 
and this is the door. If you if you think in the past there used to be a big big door here <laughs> and then we've got this beautiful view on the right which of course we are gonna go and show you guys the amazing views that you can get from Taormina especially at night you're gonna see everything with lights Mount at at na. It is wow. One one hundred thousand likes, and we will come to this hotel there. What if you throw your phone down here? Seeing these views, I just realized that there's an amazing, what well, seems to be another church. So far, there seems to be so many churches here. I think this place has everything. You've got the sea view, you've got the Mount Etna view, and the, you've got other mountain views, you've got just, just everything. Lights, right? swimming pools, cactus. <laughs> cactus. And it's the first place that we see so many restaurants, even though it might seem silly. It is truth. Yeah, there's so many restaurants. And the quality here. of the floor as well. And here is definitely the busiest place we've been to. Like, yeah. it, it's crazy busy here. Busy. So many tourists and just locals as well. Um, but yeah, lots of churches as well. We are in the final spot. Yes. Is everyone ready to see? The end of the day. What's the place called? Porto di Giani Gi Gi Naxos. Naxos. Something like and that. And we've got these amazing views. All the boats here. However, well, yes, sand. And then we've got these amazing views. We were about up there not long ago. That's where we did the last clip. And this is where we're gonna finish the vlog. Let's call it vlog today the tour the portable tour just here with this amazing view of Daurim Daurim forgot the name Daurima Daurmina and the beach the Sicilian beach wow so gorgeous so gorgeous we've got a castle just there Shall we use still one? So we've got the paddle boards here. Wow, crazy. Crazy. Well, there you go, guys. This is the end of the Maybe tour. <laughs> Day three. Day three over and out. If you haven't seen, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if you haven't seen the other tours, what shall they do? Go watch it right now. Day three over and out.